Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Renee. If you're new, thanks for stopping by. Welcome to our channel. Today's video is going to be a what I eat in a week. I'm starting this on a Sunday because what even is the first day of the week in quarantine? <laughs> I picked up a whole bunch of groceries. I'm feeling like a good health kick. I have been eating not the best at all so i want to like challenge myself to eat really healthy um all parts of the food group i don't diet i started intermittent fasting because i was a little bit bored here in quarantine but i'm not doing that anymore but i don't restrict myself i don't cut out any food groups or anything like that um just simply eat healthy food from the planet um and I do eat unhealthy like I don't beat myself up for eating anything unhealthy but I've been eating a lot of fast food so I know when my body is feeling it my body's feeling it it's not recovering as fast my fitness levels I feel like are kind of depleting my energy levels are depleting um, my mental health is depleting um, so I just want to like get back into eating better um, and not use quarantine as an excuse anymore um, I will not be showing the water that I drink, but I have a hydro flask here. I also have like a giant, um, it's called R, R, uh, RTIC. I got this on Amazon. I usually just fill these up and I'll probably drink three to four of these every single day. Um, yeah, water is super, super like important. I don't need to lose weight or anything. Um, if anything, I probably need to gain some more like muscle back. When I eat unhealthy, I feel myself like losing muscle tone and I don't like it. Um, so I'm not trying to like lose weight or anything like that. Just getting all the disclaimers out there before we get into the video. But I do want to show you guys like a before and after of eating healthy for five days, like what it can actually do to your body. Like I said, I'm not like trying to lose weight or anything. I love my body the way it is, but I want to see more muscle tone. That's the goal. So this is just for reference. This is where I'm starting. Okay, not bad, but I just want to do like a before and after. So here's the before. Let's see what happens when we eat healthy for five days. First meal of the day. I pretty much eat this smoothie once a day. It's really healthy. It has really good protein. I get my greens in. It's just like a good situation. So for any of you guys that are new, I put a scoop of this Vega One All-in-One protein. This stuff has so many nutrients and like healthy stuff in it i get this from amazon as well as this um it's the collagen peptides this is really healthy for your skin um your hair your nails all that good stuff um i'll pop these in the description box for you guys i'm gonna pop in some spinach some almond milk i'm going to be adding in some soaked chia seeds long time ago like a super hippie farmer's market guy uh told me that when you eat chia seeds if you don't soak them first like your body doesn't absorb all the nutrients so ever since then i've always just like soaked my chia seeds um and then i'll put in half a frozen banana and then a little bit of ice so that's my breakfast all right guys it's lunch time I'm going to make myself some tuna, like avocado toast. I have a English muffin here. It's the Ezekiel English muffin, the sprouted grain one. I'm going to put in tuna, some red onion, base is avocado, and then I'm going to stir in some mayonnaise, a little bit of mustard. Yeah, that's my lunch. doesn't look very appealing but I had um apple and peanut butter yesterday and I didn't eat it all so I'm just gonna eat the rest of this as a little snack actually really amazing I saw that like turkey added to a soup and another person's what I eat a day and I was like mm, that actually sounds really good like it'll give it some more substance and it made it into like a chili it was actually really good adding the lemon on top of any soup just totally changes the flavor it didn't look very appealing but it was really good it tastes like chili but for dessert I'm going to be 
I always have to have dessert. You will see. Um, I made these date balls um, in a video. They're basically just peanut butter dates and chia seeds and cacao nibs. That's it. Um, you just blend that together. I'm going to have like, let's do two for a dessert. And that concludes my first day of eating. Mm. Alright guys, I lied. I'm also going to eat some of these yogurt raisins. So I'm adding to my dessert. <laughs> Good morning everyone. This is going to be my breakfast. I am actually very hungry. So we're going to make a big breakfast. Um, I'm going to do just some sunny side up eggs. Um, some turkey bacon and then I'm gonna make myself a yogurt parfait with um, the Siggy's plain yogurt some kind granola um, a drizzle of manuka honey as well as some blueberries For dinner I'm just having some of this leftover like turkey chili lentil soup mix that I made yesterday and then I'm also doing a wine night with my friends so I will be having a couple glasses of wine of Miami tonight but yeah that's my dinner guys I'm actually editing a video and I'm going to eat a snack of mixed nuts nothing too fancy I'm just gonna snack on these they are the Aurora's cranberry health mix you can get these I think at like Whole Foods or any store just find like any raw mixed nut package <laughs> I'm also gonna have a glass of chocolate milk it's chocolate almond milk non dairy I usually drink it directly from the carton but because I'm filming a what I eat in a day I'm being fancy and drinking out of a glass just for you I realize I always have my pinky up All right. fuck my life hey at least it's not the chocolate milk right I mean all right guys, dinner, I'm a creature of habit, so I'm going to eat some more of this turkey, like chili soup. I know this may be a little bit boring, but I'm not gonna sit here and like make meals that I really don't eat. Um, this is like me. I typically will like find a couple meals that I gravitate towards and then I'll just like eat them a lot. <laughs> boring but simple dinner. I know I'm so boring, but for lunch I'm having the rest of my soup. And I'm still in my PJs. What the hell? But again, I'm just being honest. 
Um, I'm also gonna have something else after this for lunch. Like this is obviously not enough, but I'm just kind of like in a snacking mood. So, I really want eggs and turkey bacon again. So I might add that to my lunch. You guys are gonna like be like, why did I click on this video? But wouldn't you rather have this than like me making extravagant meals with a bazillion ingredients that's unrealistic and that I'm only making for this video like to be cool? No, like I eat this. This glob. <laughs> I don't know. I'm real. Okay. So I'm in a really snacky mood. <laughs> If you can't tell, but I'm gonna eat my tomatoes, the rest of these. Anyone else eat these? I can literally just snack on these. No, I can't. Wow, that's so embarrassing. Okay, I'm gonna throw that one away. Let's try this again. Anyone else snack on these? I do all the time, even though it looks like I don't. Honestly, today's been rough. If you can't freaking tell. It's another breakfast for dinner. You guys can tell how much I really love breakfast food. Um, super weird combination, but we have two eggs, two turkey bacon, a toasted English muffin with that tuna salad that I made earlier. For dessert, I am having tea once again. The Yogi Peach Detox, it's really good. It has ginger in it, so it's really good for your stomach. Still in my PJs. And then I'm going to pair it with some of this Ghirardelli chocolate. I had this yesterday. There is literally no better pairing than chocolate and tea. Tell me I'm wrong. I had one yesterday, but I wanted two. So we're going to do two. Two pieces, tea. See you guys tomorrow. because we are mixing it up a little bit for lunch i uber eated even though i said i wasn't going to in this vlog but it's healthy I got this from Sambo in Chelsea. It's basically their like buildable. You guys can't see, but they have sweet potato noodles, charred broccoli, some bok choy, and then steak. I'm probably gonna eat half of this um, and then probably eat the other half for dinner, but it's really good. Like I said, I ate half. I honestly was trying to eat like more protein. I talked about my fitness like struggles recently in like an Instagram that I posted and a lot of you guys were telling me like I need to eat more protein so today I was just like really craving like iron um and this does steak have B12 in it? Am I crazy? A lot of you guys are mentioning that like I could have a deficiency in those. Like obviously I really do need to go to like a doctor, but just trying some new things out and I love this. So I was just trying to get some protein for muscle recovery and stuff. So I feel like steak is like the most protein-ish thing you can eat. Pop that. Probably see you soon. I'm also going to be opening up a kombucha. This is like the only one that I... I mean, I always say that, but like, it's my favorite. It's not the only one I'll drink, but um, I honestly, I'm really weird with drinks. I'll open stuff like Zevia, Celsius, or stuff like that, but I won't drink the whole thing. Like right now, I only need like a few gulps, like sips. It's really weird. And then I'll just leave it in the fridge. So, um, yeah, like I'll show you, okay? Like I can't drink a full one. So this is like full. <sighs> That's all I need. Um, you can't see, but I drink like that much, so like, what, a third? And I'll just like sip on this whenever I'm craving anything bubbly. Weird, but. I'll put like all my empty ones here. So like I usually, it's so weird. If you open my fridge, I will usually have like a kombucha, a Zevia, and a Celsius like all midway drink. I remember when I lived alone in Tampa, like I'd always have three different Starbucks drinks that I would have, and I'd just sip on it whenever I'm like craving whatever it is that i'm craving it's just really freaking weird i don't know 
All right, guys, another midday snack. Oh, man, I only have one. <laughs> I need to make more. I do have more dates that I can make some more, so I'll probably do that today. Um, I'm gonna eat my last date ball. More popcorn for a snack. For dinner, I am having just the leftover, like I said. My drinks are piling up. For dessert, I have something actually very special. So I got sent over these chocolates from Forte Fort. Um, they do have a promo code if you guys want to try it out. It's Renee15. You guys get 15% off. I did an unboxing today. Like I just had so many packages and I did sneak a few bites. So I did have that if you want to count. Um, but okay, it sounds really weird. It's lemon and pepper and white chocolate. It tastes so good. It's a it's an international award winner and a chef favorite. Like you would think it, for me at least like it wouldn't sound good. You guys, it is amazing. It's a shame I really want to like save it because Noah I want him to try it, but I'll buy some more. But this is what it looks like. It tastes like a lemon cake. It is so creamy. It is amazing. Like, I don't even, I've never had chocolate this good. I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm not, I'm pretty much eating that half the bar. Amazing. So, yeah. All right, guys, it is currently Friday. I just woke up. I'm gonna have my first meal, but it's officially like that week full of clean eating. I think, like, the only difference that I really had was like eating more frequently. I wasn't eating a lot of junk food, like I was ordering a lot of junk food on Uber Eats. Um, drinking way more water, less um, like Celsius and Zevia and all that stuff. Yeah, I feel better too, I feel much better. This is what I look like after a week of clean eating. Um, I feel like more slim and toned. As you guys can tell, I don't really restrict myself or anything like that. Like when I say that I'm slimming down or like I'm toning down, I never really like restrict. Uh, it's just eating better and actually more. I've been eating more than I have this week than I have like before because I've been kind of just like in quarantine zones. Like sometimes I like won't eat that much and then I'll just like Uber eats or just like eat a whole bunch of snacks. So I really focused on eating healthy, like whole foods and I wanna stick to it because I could just feel like the difference. So. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys all in a future video. Bye, guys.